there just to give you a little bit better of a perspective because we were just inside the fort it was all crammed in there i got my poncho and poncho liner out here and hopefully you can hear me it was windy all night and it's still windy but like i said we got the poncho liner and the poncho and like i said off a of grunt proof this is technically called a ranger roll but with the casualty blanket or any kind of mylar blanket as long as it got little grommets in it because this one does it's kind of old i had this for a while but you could tie this in first instead of the the would be or the poncho liner you could have this underneath there and then put this on top to help reflect heat but like i said i just like to put this down as a ground sheet just so i stay off the ground somewhat but i've used the the poncho and the, and the would be by itself just laying on the ground if you look through my community post you'll see the one picture where i camped out underneath the pine tree that's an old one that was a wild bat hopefully the wind don't fight me too much <laughs> doesn't help that I'm out here in the open but there ain't no better place to roll this up at <laughs> I ain't gonna have time to cook today like I said I came out here late last night and I slept in like normal <laughs> toss and turn all night I wasn't cold or anything it's just it's just getting comfortable at night sometimes wind howling. I said I got my U.S. wool blanket. You got to use the wind to help you. Like I said, technically you would call this a ranger roll with the wool blanket and all that. It only got down to, to the 40s last night, maybe mid 30s. It was actually fairly warm though. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll that out of here after I get this all packed up. I was gonna make some food, but I ain't gonna have time.
nice and tight, you want it to look nice. I just thought about this yesterday since, like I said, I rode my motorcycle and it rained last night, but it stopped before I left work. But I had to, <laughs> I had bags on my feet and I put a little bit of a, a bag over this to keep it extra dry because the wool and stuff hangs out. But you can use the hoodie. I thought about this last night. You can kind of use the hoodie and just put it over your stuff to close it up a little bit better. seals up a little bit better. You can't get it on there the whole way, but better than nothing. This is always the hard part. It's like reminds me of rolling up a tent. <laughs> I haven't used a tent in a long time, but it's a pain in the ass getting it back in the bag. You see the wool and stuff, either way, even if I wrap it up good, it still kind of hangs out there some. But it's dry out today, so I won't have to worry about water shooting back up at me. Now I got my East German bag here. I said I was gonna make some food, but I ain't got time for that. I just got a, a GI two-piece mess kit in there and some potatoes that I was gonna make. You know, one thing leads to another. sure I got my straps the right way. like a baby you gotta keep this thing good it's my precious <laughs> now I just do that to keep it nice and tight See, like I said, the wool blanket and stuff hangs out a little bit, but as long as it ain't raining, then you don't gotta worry about that. The wool will keep you warm anyway, even if it's wet. But I didn't want to take any chances last night coming here on a motorcycle of getting wet. I hate it on a motorcycle. Your damn boots are the first thing to fill up with water, even if it ain't raining because the water's shooting up from the tires. go. It's all wrapped up. Ready to roll. <laughs> 